Good morning Reefers, I'm Daniel from Coralus, and this is a lighting update video. I just wanted to give you guys a little more information and talk about um, the different lighting in the reef tanks and what can happen over time when you add rock and you want to reposition your lighting, which I'm sure anyone who got a new lighting fixture looked around their tank, moved it and tried to find the best place for the light and to put your corals so you can see them with the light. Um, I have here on my display the Ecotec Radions. Uh, these are mixed between the Gen 2s and the Gen 3s and I built a custom railing system to hold them. They had the touch buttons on the front so I had to make a unique rail that you could support them and and also use those buttons. So I'm a minimalist when it comes to engineering, so I try to do everything simple. Since I'm so indecisive and I'm always changing things, it's so hard for me to commit to one mounting position. I mean, I had my rock for how many years? 400 pounds piled up against the glass. Um, and I just decided to change it. So these lights were mounted horizontal because my rock work, it worked out really nice and they got a lot of lighting. Now I have these center rock piles, as you can see. So I may turn these so I get light on both sides of the rock, which is one reason why people love the T5s because they tend to fill light in all the places that you don't really get with LED. And that, like I said, these are old. These lights are almost seven years old, eight years. Um, so they've come a long way with the distribution of the LEDs. So I may upgrade to, I think, the Gen 4s now someday. But, but anyway, that's why people like the T5s and the LED combos. Because like I said, they fill in a lot of areas where you um, would have cost you a lot of money to get the extra lighting. So... Uh, I just got an email from a new company and they actually have a light that is motorized and moves. And I will hopefully be demoing that soon for you guys and can show you. But I mean how many people are moving around their lights? You know, I, I couldn't mount mine like I said, so they're on this slider thing. I can move them forward and backwards to get more light behind, more light behind. It just depends. So I'm always wiggling these things, moving them just to see how the corals light up but but yeah so I can see it's been 10 minutes the water's coming back on my so far reliable Jbo pump I turned it off so you guys could see in the tank without the current my tank has so much current you normally can't even look in so these pumps are ramping back up But yeah, so I wanted to make another comment to people. We, the corals need 24 hour life support. But when we're sitting in front of our tanks, we really like to enjoy them and see them under the blue lighting. So adjusting your lights for the corals you have is very important and the arrangement you have. So I'm a little distracted today, so I'm, I'm sidetracked from my um, topic points and notes. But I just want to tell people who are moving around their lights, um, trying to find the right thing. It is a struggle. It will take time. Money's an issue always when it comes to lighting. Because trust me, I want the Gen 4 Ecotech Radeon Pros. But um, yeah, I can't. I don't have those yet. So these will suffice for now. So as always, thanks for watching. This was just supposed to be a quick update. Um, just on the display tank and a little info on lighting. So I might as well tell you guys a little more about the corals that I added on the front of the tank. All right, I just glued on a couple frags so you really can't see just yet, but these are some prime choice. Let's see if I can unlock my zoom. So sorry. Um, there's a rainbow pally, rainbow zoanthids, 
another type of rainbow pally. Some rastas and fruit loops. Anyway, sorry guys, I'm just dragging with the camera. Thanks for watching. As always, happy reefing. Until next time, keep commenting, sharing the information. It's nice to have feedback from people. It gives us other hobbyists something to go by and tips and tricks are always welcome in this hobby. So, see you guys soon.